Welcome and good morning. My name is Bob Lee and thank you for joining us on YouTube for the Friday Pastors Devotional. Today is Friday, December 15th and yes, 10 days until Christmas. I'm so excited. I love this season of year and we have a host of wonderful opportunities for worship and other programming throughout this month. As we begin our devotional time today, I'd like to share a few verses from Psalm 145. It's a great passage for this time of year as we think about God dwelling with us. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. And then the Bible says in John's Gospel that he made his dwelling among us. So he is near, he is with us. Here in Psalm 145, verse 17 and following. The Lord is righteous in all his ways and loving toward all he has made. The Lord is near to all who call on him. To all who call on him in truth, he fulfills the desires of those who fear him. He hears their cry and he saves them. The Lord watches over all who love him. And then there at the end, let every creature praise his holy name forever and ever. Amen. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Every December, our church engages in a week of prayer and offering for international missions. Here's the prayer guide that we printed up for this year. It was in last Sunday's worship bulletin. And you'll see the picture of Chuck and Erica Morris on the prayer guide. Chuck and Erica served faithfully as International Mission Board missionaries for 30 years in Malaysia, Singapore, and the Philippines. When they retired, they moved back to the States and both came on our staff and served some 16 years in the area of pastoral care and ministry and Bible study and so forth. Um, they both passed away in the early 2000s, and uh, but we still remember them, and they've got quite a legacy at our church. So in this week's prayer guide, uh, you will find prayers for Cindy and Eddie Rubel, that's R-U-B-L-E. They serve with Cooperative, Cooperative Baptist Fellowship Global. Uh, Eddie, in particular, oversees CBF International Disaster Relief Efforts. He's the coordinator over all that. And Cindy has a ministry to survivors of human trafficking. She's also very involved in helping to stop human trafficking. Uh, Eddie and Cindy are seminary colleagues of mine, so we go way back. Uh, they, they are wonderful servants of the Lord. Uh, the other family we partner with is the Green family, and they serve in Southeast Asia, in particular are involved in church planting and Water, pur water purification systems in areas where they lack clean, drinkable water. And then finally, the third part of our offering goes to Cooperative Baptist Fellowship Global, and we uh, will um, will divide our offering, which the goal, by the way, is $12,000. We'll divide that offering in uh, thirds and send a part to the Green family, and then the Rubel Families Ministry, and then the rest to CBF Global. So I pray that you'll join in that effort, that you'll contribute not only in uh, prayer, but also with your generous financial offerings. Let's pray now for these as we uh, wrap up today. Heavenly Father, we thank you so much for Chuck and Erica Morris, for their legacy, for instilling within our congregation a desire and a passion for reaching people for Jesus Christ here and around the world. We pray for the Rubel family as they undertake ministry for uh, human uh, to help survivors of human trafficking and also to stop human trafficking. Father, we thank you for Eddie and his responsibilities with disaster relief through CBF Global. We pray for the Green family as they continue to help villages in that area of the world have clean, drinkable pure water. And then finally, we pray for our CBF Global family and ask that these offerings would help in their efforts to share the good news of Jesus Christ around the world. And Lord, we know that the world has also come to us. And so we think of our church as a global missions outpost. 
And that's actually part of the language in our vision um, that the recently adapted here, adopted here at the church in 2022, that we see ourselves as a, an, an oasis for our community and a global missions outpost. So help us in these efforts, O oh God, in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Well, thanks again for joining me this morning. I look forward to seeing you Sunday in worship, whether in person or online. And remember that the 24th is coming, and that's our annual Christmas cantata, children's Christmas pageant. And we're uh, so excited that we'll have candlelight and communion as well. And now may the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord make his face to shine upon you and be gracious unto you. May the Lord lift the light of his countenance upon you and give you peace. Amen. We'll see you soon.